Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're celebrating another national drinking holiday. Yes, if you guys are wondering where we're pulling all these from, there's a calendar, look it up. You may, be even, you may even be able to guess a few of our upcoming episodes. But today is National Cocktail Day. Mm-hmm. And we try to think of a many few ways to celebrate National Cocktail Day on the show. So we decided what better way to celebrate National Cocktail Day than to make our favorite cocktails. Our favorite drinks that we can drink at any time regardless of if it's even appropriate for the year. That drink that we know that if you get it just right, you have yourself a winner. That's the best way I can describe it. Your old faithful, so to speak. And if you and if the old fashioned is your old faithful, you drink that. So I guess we can reveal to them what we're making today. We've got two cocktails lined up. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll start with the big one first. Uh, your favorite cocktail is the mojito. Okay, why? Why is that? Because so traditionally the mojito is more of a light drink so to speak mm-hmm. but I like mine's more heavy so I always request them a little bit heavier than they're made but the reason I like the mojito the reason it's my favorite cocktail is because of the fact that the mojito represents for lack of a better phrase a lifestyle a lifestyle that I would prefer to have or or let me let me rephrase it not only does it represent a lifestyle but it also represents a mood so to speak it's relaxed it's it's chill it reminds me of vacation it's it's the epitome of summer exactly specifically a summer tropical vacation and living the lifestyle of for lack of a better phrase, not having a nine to five job and being able to do summer stuff all year round mm-hmm. and being rich. Mm-hmm. I want to be rich. Let's be honest with you. I think everybody <laughs> wants to be rich. The mojito to me represents a rich drink. If you're drinking a mojito and you're somewhere and there's palm trees, then that means you didn't go to work today. And you probably didn't go to work today because either you're on vacation or You are at work, and that's drinking a damn mojito. (laughs) Okay, well, (laughs) that was because you don't have a job, you see. Because well, I mean, you're super rich. It's it's not about not having a job. If you're you're, rich, you obviously did something to make that happen. True, but if you're drinking mojito, that is your job now. Your job is to live life stress free. And let the money roll in. Okay, how did that money get there? Okay, you had to stress out before to get the money. Don't don't argue with me. I just like mojitos. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually your mojitos are done several different ways. Um, I'm going to build this one in the glass because reasons, mm-hmm. but. It should work just as effectively. So I'm going to start off with the lime juice. I'm going to put this in in the glass. Like I said, I'm building this in the glass because that's the way I prefer to do it. Next, I'm going to add some mint, which is more or less the building blocks, one of the key building blocks of a mojito. Now, I'm going to say this. The usual steps of building a mojito, you take your mint, you put sugar in there, Mm -hmm. and then you muddle the mint. Mm -hmm. I'm not using, and and by muddle, like a soft press. Mm -hmm. Nothing really, you don't want to agitate the leaves too much. You just want to express those flavors. Mm -hmm. And the sugar is to help you do that. I'm not using sugar because I'm going to use simple syrup. Mm -hmm. You pretty much get the same effect. Mm -hmm. 
which is gonna be the next thing I add now. An alpha simple syrup and do that and do it. And as you're probably noticing right now, you can smell the the man yeah. coming from there. Yes. And what I like to do, I infuse this simple syrup with mint, so you, you're gonna get, get that, that double mint flavor. Mm -hmm. The next ingredient I'm gonna add is the rum. Mojitos are usually made with light rum, so get your favorite light rum. I'm gonna do two ounces of light rum. Good. That should be more than enough for someone like you. I'm using Bacardi here because Bacardi is a decent enough rum for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Making mixed drinks and the like. Mm -hmm. It's also not too expensive. You can do whatever you want with that. And then I'm gonna add my ice, which flies everywhere. Give it a good mix. This is a low stress drink, so you know you're not trying to do too much as far as mixology is concerned. And that is it. So this is mojito. Mm -hmm. Let me give it a taste. Make sure it's up to my standards. Here we go. That's the stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like I'm at the beach, but this helps. <laughs> That's because you're, you know what I mean. <laughs> We already know why, why you're here. This helps a lot. There is another cocktail that follows the same recipe. Recipe. Mm -hmm. It's not a mojito per se. I forgot the name of it, but like it adds the one with dark rum. No, it. I believe it has champagne in it. Ooh. It's like the king something. I don't know what that is. When I when this video is edited, I'll put the name of the of the drink in the description or right here. But you'll know exactly what it is. I've always wanted it. Like it just never came. Like the ingredients just never came to me or they never aligned for me to make this drink. I would like to make this drink to see what it tastes like. Maybe we can make it in a future episode. I'm, I'm hoping to do that. But, so I assume that that's your, that's my, this is my favorite cocktail. So what's your favorite cocktail? So, I have a lot of favorite cocktails because I'm not really picky. Mm -hmm. One of them we've already done on this show, which is the margarita. And, you know, this wouldn't be much of an episode if I just did the same drink all over again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you guys also have seen, if you go on our Twitter and our Instagram, which you should be doing because, you know, we are awesome. <laughs> but... <laughs> If you if you've caroused our Instagram, I put up a couple of examples of drinks that I've done, even recipes for like events and everything like that, and holidays like Mother's Day and stuff like that. So you guys should check those out. But for me, and all of those are great and all, because it allows me to do a lot in terms of in terms of creating something and making something mm -hmm. especially when it's for like multiple people mm -hmm. but for me simple is always I'm, I'm always gonna have a place in my heart for simple drinks so i'm gonna do a rum and coke okay 
and it's about as easy as it gets. Uh, <laughs> rum and coke is simple, but you know, I've looked online and I've seen people deconstruct it as it were, and that's cool and all, but you know, for me, it's the simple classic, rum and coke. So I'm gonna get my glass mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put my ice in the glass. And of course, we're gonna do two ounces of rum. Preferably Cuban rum because of the origins of this drink. <coughs> and then you're gonna top it off with Coke. Mm -hmm. Not Pepsi, not RC Cola. Coke. Coca Cola. Now, there is an addendum to this drink, but it is to your personal preferences. You can add a wedge of lime mm -hmm. as your garnish and also to squeeze in as an ingredient. Okay. And there you have it. Simple, gets the job done, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of the best cocktails are simple. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how you get get your old fashions and your margaritas and the whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's not to say cocktails with several more ingredients are trash or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But the art of cocktail making had to start from somewhere and the sometimes the simple recipes are the best just mixing things until stuff tastes good mm -hmm. well with that said and done you know a lot of us are still in quarantine i know they're probably lifting some stuff around the country and even in our state mm -hmm. but for the most part a lot of people are still staying inside so if you're still staying inside like we are you will probably want something to pass the time. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this on National Cocktail Day, take today, you know, don't go and and drink your problems away, but take today to try to make your favorite cocktail. Mm -hmm. Whatever it may be, you will find a recipe for it online. That's what the internet is for. Or make up your own cocktail. See what you have alcohol wise around the house. See what you think would mix better. You can even take ingredients that you, you can even, even take alcohols and ingredients that you may not sure work, may work together. Go online, see if there's a drink mixing those ingredients and try it and see what you think. In other words, make something that will be someone else's favorite drink down the line. Right. And in, in, in take, today to enjoy drinking you know not as just something to run away from your problems yeah run away from your problems or try to soothe some kind of inner pain so to speak but appreciate just like with food how you appreciate the taste of food and the artistry and the artistry that goes into it mm -hmm. the same thing amounts to drinks as well right like yeah, you could frat boy drink, but what's the joy in it if you don't even remember what you put inside of you? Exactly. So with that said, everybody, happy National Cocktail Day. And be healthy, drink healthy, you know, drink responsibly. And we're still going through quarantine, so everybody, you know, wash your hands, be safe. Mm -hmm. But be sure to also like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll know whenever we have new episodes. You know, check us out on Instagram and Twitter, of course. And until next time, everybody. Peace.